in this video I am going to show you how to add an image upload field or the option to upload images to your Elementor form so that your clients or customers can attach the images directly into the Elementor form and send it directly to you. This might be very useful if you are like a carpenter and you, you want your clients or customers to attach the images of the furniture they like directly into the Elementor form and send it directly to you along with other information um, so this is the form uh, i made for a client and i'm going to submit it and show you uh, show it to you how it works so i'll just write test over here write a test down write down a test email suppose test to at the rate of gmail.com i'll give a number and just some random text and in this form like uh, I made the ability to add five images so I will choose the files I will choose two images and click open I have attached two files over here and I will check this recapture and and I will just hit submit ok see this form was successfully sent ok now I will reload the page so those who are image files what I, what if I add uh, try to send another file suppose I just fill up the form again test just write test at the rate of test 2 just write down a number another random number and suppose I try to add uh, another kind of file this one this is a text file see this type of file is not allowed so you can only send images uh, using like uh, attach only images and send only images so I am going to show you how now let us check uh, how the email you receive will look like so let us go have a like uh, let us go and have a look at it this is how the email you will receive uh, look like uh, here are the basic fields name email uh, telephone number message etc for the images for the images it will instead of attaching the image itself it will send you the links of the images suppose uh, I attached uh, if you remember in the when I submitted the form for the first time I attached two images two uh, JPG images so it sent me uh, links to two images one link for the first image and the second uh, link for the second image separated by a comma if I click on the first one it will download uh, the first image so let's have a look how it looks like I will just open this up in a browser you see and it also send me the other link for the other image it's downloading so it uh, send me the images in full quality here is the other image uh, so what are the advantages and disadvantages of this advantages is are that uh, that suppose uh, for emails you have a like upload size of like around 25 megabytes so what it does the elementor form what it does it's upload the images to the wordpress website in in one of the folders of the wordpress website and then uh, it sends you the link to the specific file location okay uh, like meaning this link instead of uploading the images it uploads to the wordpress website the image and sends you the link to the file location so uh, hence there is no like a kind any kind of upload uh, size file size limit or something like that uh, if the image size is 20 megabytes then no problem and uh, you can uh, set a limit i will show you how to do that right now uh, you can if the image size is 10 megabytes no no problem you can multiple images of 5 megabytes 6 images no problem at all it would simply send you 
uh, the links to the images. If you attach 5 images, it will send you 5 links like this. And what are the disadvantages? Uh, disadvantages that you do not have got get to have a, like a visual kind of feel, uh, that is the only thing. But uh, if it is only you who are like managing the things, but it is completely usable, right? You can easily download and view the images. So, I do not see, uh, see any problems over here. So, this is how it works. Uh, now, I am going to show you how to add this uh, image upload option uh, to your Elementor form. So, let us let us have a look how to do it. I have the Elementor uh, editor opened up over here and uh, now I will show you how can add the image upload feature. So, I will search for the uh, element form, the form Oh, firstly, I will need to add a section, then I will search for the element form, I will add this element. Okay. Uh, now, to simply add the image upload feature, you will just need to click uh, add a new item and from the type, you just go down and choose file upload ok and then you can just say like upload your images here ok file upload then uh, you can set it to required if you want and you can set the maximum file size uh, what should be the maximum file size and you can see that uh, it starts from 1 megabyte and goes from up to like 1 gigabyte. So, I will suggest uh, just set it to 5 megabyte uh, because if your uh, customers will are taking like like set it to I think set it to uh, 7 megabyte because, uh, because if your uh, clients are taking pictures with their like latest iPhones or digital camera, professional camera, uh, then the pictures, uh, the image size is going to be very large. Uh, so, that is uh, what you will need to consider, keep in consideration and uh, what are going to the, going to be the allowed file types. Uh, this is kind of important because uh, you should not allow all types of file to be uploaded because uh, suppose. Uh, you are using a windows uh, computer right if you are windows cpc and if you allow all types of files to be uploaded uh, someone might uh, attach an dot exe file which might be a virus and just uh, upload it and send it to you then you open up uh, open it up in your email download it and install it accidentally and then you get virus on your uh, uh, like uh, pc or computer so that's what you will need to avoid uh, so, for allowed, for allowed file types, we need to just uh, allow only the image files. So, what are the common image files? Let us have a look. Image formats, I will just support formats. So, I am just going to show you the, I will just search for the term common common image formats, common image formats. The most common are TIFF, GIF, PNG and also most common is uh, JPG which is not written here. So, I will start with JPG. Uh, just put the uh, extension over here JPG and then you can also put JPEG, PNG. TI, FF, TIFF and what else is there? GIF, 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 GIF and uh, RAW, RAW image files. Let us see what RAW image files do. I think the RAW image files are the ones uh, which digital camera produces. Uh, a camera raw image file contains minimally processed data uh, ok. So, the like uh, when you take images uh, like with camera I think it produces uh, images with raw image raw image type files. So, I will also 
it ends with a dot raw extension so i will also upload this because uh, most uh, most people are try will try to upload take pictures with their camera and upload it directly to your contact form so i'll also include this raw so what do we have here jpg uh, png tip gif and raw i think this will be enough for now and the other option you get over here will you allow multiple files right now it is set to a single file you can only upload single images uh, you can also allow people to upload multiple files like 5 images or 10 images 20 images uh, that's like that like uh, for the the other side which i uploaded two images uh, and the maximum uh, number of images it's allowed was uh, five images so i'll just check this option and you can set the maximum number of files like five just like this okay uh, so now it's ready and uh, i'll just save it as draft or you can just publish the changes uh, to directly just show it to you. Uh, directly just uh, publish it, uh, it to your page you can publish it like this I'm just showing it to you right now okay and so this is how you add an image upload uh, field or image upload option to your Elementor form and uh, this will help you to help your help you and your clients to send images to you directly and this will just uh, improve your business and improve your productivity I hope that you found this video useful and interesting and if you did then please make to like make sure to like this video and also please subscribe to my channel uh, thank you